Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale. Now this is a video that people have requested many, many times over many years, but I've never really got around to doing it because the cave just hasn't been exactly how I wanted it to be. It's never been really finished. But in this video, I'm gonna take you for a tour through the Spectrum Geeks cave. And the reason for that is that um, we're leaving the cave, we're, we're moving. So this is kind of the, the final look at the cave before I kind of start boxing more things up, kind of take everything apart. So yeah, let's go into the cave and check things out. Okay, we start off with the door. Obviously it says the cave on there. That's something I made on my Cricut vinyl cutter. Got a, one of the old ring doorbells there for when people come knocking. In here is a garage, but this is the stairway up to the cave. Let me close the door. A quick little look around here. So I am a big Iron Man fan. So that's why we have the Iron Man poster on the wall down here. Got um, the ring chime, the original ring chime pro and the one wheel. And then got some Govi LEDs that go up the stairs just to give it a nice kind of style and effect. I'm also a massive Darren Brown fan. So if we look on the back here, there's a series of Darren Brown posters from the various shows that I've been to see. And then some, sh some of the tested artwork and Doctor Who stuff. Coffee machine, which I hardly ever use. And then my sneak stuff, which you have seen on the videos in the past and a little beer fridge just down there. Then when we're recording or from on conference calls or anything, we have the on air sign. So people know not to just come barging straight in. But this in here is the cave. So the whole idea with the cave was it to be a home cinema and office, but I've never really kind of got exactly where I like it. But uh, a nice 120 inch screen there connected to an Optima projector. And if we just kind of walk into the middle, give you a little show around. So obviously here is the main screen. Over here is where I do some of the kind of live streams, some of the editing, it's where you can see the videos. It's on my main work desk with the fully standing desk there. And if you look on the kind of corners in the ceiling here, We've got some Boston Acoustics cubes, which is what I use for the sound. And then there's the original Vive uh, lighthouses. And they're in different corners, just around there. There's where the doggy sleeps most of the day. Over in this corner is kind of like the music area. Under here, I have my V drums and the guitar that I still yet to, to properly learn over there. And one of my Philips air purifiers. My original monster gaming chair, which has a lot of sentimental value. Guys in my team bought that for me. That's one of my birthdays, so that's not going anywhere. Um, PlayStation folding gaming chair. And the, uh, the original arcade machine that I made many, many years ago now. It's on a retro pie. Where I keep some books and some Blu-rays in there. And obviously I've got a couple of lava lamps and the LifeX beam at the top there. A little cupboard. Just keep some of my flying books and things in there. It's all hidden at the moment. There's boxes behind here. Some boxes of things I've already packed, some things that I bought and never got around to doing it. So some acoustic panels and stuff to try and sort the sound out in this room a little bit more. But again, we never got around to that. And uh, I guess my Kallax display, which you often see in the back of videos. We've got the Lego space stuff at the top there. But I always think that looks not too bad uh, from a background in some of the videos. And at the top there is the uh, Optima projector. And a couple of rear speakers. And I have a corner there, the side speakers, and the other uh, lighthouse just in the corner there. A bit of Iron Man memorabilia, got these little blackout blinds that just roll down. Try and keep things dark in here for when I do look to watch a movie. 
little switch under there and there's filing cabinets and storage and some other stuff here's where I do a lot of the unboxings at this table so try and keep it relatively clear uh, but you can see at the moment it's got some tools and other stuff it's up here getting ready for, for packing things up the 3d printed um, headphone stand that I made a fair while ago see so here the fully desk with the two monitors and again some more lighting of course the, the secret lab that man chair still loving that chair and yeah a little bit of more storage PlayStation games camera gear tripods etc and again in here is where a lot of the thinking happens is of course the toilet so over here in the cave don't have a shower but do have a toilet and a sink that's where I kind of keep the air conditioning unit when we're not needing it and uh, again just a nice clean room for doing the, the dirty business so that's it really not a mega comprehensive anything to show you just my okay, cave very fortunate to have had this space for the last nine years and we'll look to replicate something like this in the future uh, but probably will be a year or so away so we'll have a slightly different setup in the coming videos I hope we have something clean that uh, works for a background perspective so that's it my little insight into the spectrum geek cave where I spend all my time whether that being working, editing videos, or you're trying to watch a movie. It's been a great space. Very fortunate to have a space like this and hoping to replicate something similar, but hopefully achieve some of the things I didn't quite achieve in here. I wanna have a, a dedicated office space, and then if I can, you know, a separate space just for the, the movie watching. Because again, I don't tend to watch as many movies because I just kind of struggle to switch from work mode or what have you. But uh, feel free to ask any questions, leave any comments, any feedback or suggestions future office cinema cave type setups in the future thank you as always for watching like this video if you have done and consider subscribing if you haven't done already many videos on the channel that might be of interest to you and hopefully many videos to come in the future but that's it until the next one take care of yourself bye for now